Never fear on missing out by clicking that subscribe button and becoming another member of the Babylonian family. What is going on everyone? It's me, Songs of Rays, back again with another legendary guide. And today we're looking at the legendary double gun, Shellrog's Excrescence. Now, obviously it's a bit of a mouthful to say, but this is a burst firing double gun uh, that also comes with the tier 3 mod of ultimate burning bullets so shots inflict burn on enemies every single second as long as obviously you are shooting enemies now I decided to pair this with a tier 3 mod that we haven't looked at just yet called Anomaly Mutation and this one has got my interest, it's very interesting as to how it kind of works but essentially it kind of takes the burn that's on the enemy and it multiplies it and turns it into something else and it turns it into a variety of things so the fact we're already afflicting status, we can then take that and we can start inflicting freeze or we can start inflicting ash and it's just completely random and Obviously, it just you know, turns on to enemies altogether. Now, I'm, obviously, I'm using my Technomancer build for this, so I'm inflicting Toxic as well with my Blighted Rounds whenever I'm, I fancy giving it a bit of go, just to show how the build actually kind of works with this gun. Uh, and obviously, that Toxic then also plays into this as well. So you get to see in the background some pretty good gameplay because it's a double gun, it's a assault rifle kind of kind of style, and obviously, I get to be able to shoot at range. This video, it kind of actually does turn into the Tier Three mod for Anomaly Mutation instead because because it's really, really simple, and it's really, really uh, basic to be able to explain what the Tier 3 mod for Shell Rock's Excrescence actually does. Just being able to inflict burn on enemies doesn't really benefit that many in, uh, in classes that are actually inside of Outriders. It's just purely for Pyromancers, but then Pyromancers can actually use this to such great extent. Uh, similar to how the Wicker actually afflicts Ash and is actually kind of devastating, and uh, obviously in its own right for Pyromancers, where they've got skills that will be able to use that Ash. Uh, the burn that so they, this gun can actually afflict obviously helps out with those kind of builds as well so it's actually kind of like a really nice tandem to be able to use those two guns uh, on a pyromancer that's actually built to be able to do more damage based on those kind of status now obviously with anomaly mutation you can still get that kind of effect um, and in some kind of cases it is actually better but it's more uh, kind of situation. It's more random. It's a bit more RNG, which obviously the game is kind of founded on, especially when it comes to being able to find legendary guns. So, it's, it's anomaly is just more of a fun kind of perk to be able to pair with anything that kind of afflicts a status, especially since it can do vulnerable, freeze, uh, weakness, toxic. You name it. Basically, any kind of thing that comes up as a little circle underneath the enemy's health bar, it can deal with that. So this is kind of like a good base to be able to kind of inflict that kind of side to side of things to be able to get that going to be able to make a status kind of build um, especially seeing as the cooldown for both of these is actually kind of like the same so it actually pairs quite nicely unfortunately there's not much more I can actually discuss about the tier 3 perk because that's about as exciting as it gets um, it just kind of is there it kind of deals a bit more damage you've got a bit of a status that's on an enemy and one certain class of of character can actually take advantage of that. Other than that, it's just there to be able to spread that like wildfire in kind of some kind of sense. So if you're ever as a pyromancer looking for a way to be able to get the burn out there, this is the kind of mod that you'd want for this. Um, it, it obviously that does then help your build. Um, it doesn't really help anyone else. And when you look at it on that kind of side of things, it's just kind of a bit pointless. It just kind of just sits there. I do wish that these kind of bullets, these are obviously it is an improvement over the tier 1 and the tier 2 because obviously the cooldown comes down from 8 seconds to 4 and then from 4 seconds to 1. Obviously I understand that's why the reason it is a tier 3, mo a tier three mod, but it would have been nice if there was a way to be able to inflict that status and in kind of like a group so we can actually get like an explosion on like a crit that inflicts fire in a small radius of like 5 meters for example. That, that would have been a nice little touch, I suppose. That probably would have made it feel like a legendary perk rather than just, oh, I'm just inflicting fire and it's just got a, a much shorter cooldown. Um, that, that's probably what I would have probably done. And that would have been the same for every other bullet. So anything that inflicts weakness, toxic, freeze, ash. Well, the real D is one for freeze, I suppose. But uh, all the others that basically are just kind of like left by the wayside. So the tier 3 mod is a little bit of a letdown in that kind of sense, unless you actually have a build that's dedicated to inflicting burn as much as possible onto enemies that are around you. So why, why is, is it the gun that's kind of like makes this special? Well, the stats don't really kind of point to that either, because the we, we've got a double gun which is kind of on the inaccurate side. It's Obviously it's not as, as bad as LMGs when they're firing at full auto or anything like that, but... 
being a burst fire definitely helps in that kind of sense as well, but it is still kind of inaccurate. It's not going to be anywhere near as bad, as good as the burst firing assault rifles that you can actually take or the burst firing SMGs or anything like that. We are looking at something that's kind of on the inaccurate side when it comes to distance. So it's not benefiting from there. The damage is still kind of on the low side, especially for a burst fire. We're only having 3,000 points of damage on, the, on uh, an 82.6k. Uh, double gun or version of this gun to compared to my 92k earthbound kind of assault rifle that does 7,000 points of damage uh, per bullet it's, it's it's there's no comparison there the crit multiplier is kind of on the nice side yes okay it does roll with crit damage which is also nice and it does roll into status power which obviously would benefit for its tier 3 mod but None of this really combines to make anything worthwhile. I mean, obviously, if this is one of the first few legendaries you get, or you like the look of it, and you just want to kind of run with it, then all power to you. But unfortunately, when you kind of put everything down on paper, it just doesn't really stack up to anything, and kind of does actually lose out to even purples um, in some sense, especially like the Earthbound or the Earthborn kind of assault rifle. So. I, ju I just can't recommend it, unfortunately. It's Like I said, it's a nice looking gun, but that's all it really has going for it. There is one saving grace for this weapon, and that is it has inspired me. It's inspired me to actually make a status build. Now, there might be some already out there on YouTube. I haven't looked just yet, but I do have the, the plan and the ability to be able to make a Technomancer that is actually designed around status power and just see, and obviously around this tier 3 mod for Anomaly Mutation. I'm kind of curious as to how I can get these to be able to stack, to be able to see if it is even viable um, to be able to do Freeze, Ash, Poison, Burn, Bleed, all these at the same time um, and just be able to rely on that kind of build. And no other gun has inspired me until I came across this one and then put these two tier, tier 3 mods together. So Keep an eye out for a video that will be coming in the next week or so for that kind of thing. I just need to get a couple of gear pieces, but that's the only thing I can really credit this gun for. That wraps it up for the Shell Rogs Excrescence. It's not an amazing gun by any means. The Tier 3 mod is very situational, depending on the class that you're playing as. But, like I said, if it's one of the first few legendaries you come across, you may still have some fun with this. It's not a gun that's just completely trash or anything like that it's just unfortunately outclassed by so many other things that are available in this game so i hope you've enjoyed the gameplay i hope you found this all informative if you did please drop us a like and subscribe as always it will be very much appreciated uh, and as always keep yourself safe keep yourself well and i shall see you on the next video